when you first get to your site, you'll see this area. If you scroll down, in the bottom left, there's a section for Meta. If you're not logged in, there will be a button that says Login. Click that to put in your username and password. Otherwise, go to My Site and Dashboard to get to the Dashboard menu. Now under the Dashboard menu, you're going to see Posts. This is where you go to write a blog post. In Pages, this is for uh, About Us, contest, Contact, pages that aren't going to be changed too often. So once the information is set, you kind of leave it as is, whereas blog posts will be updated more frequently. So you can click on any one page to edit it, or create Add New at the top, or Add New under Pages, either one. Click here, and this is the title of the page. Once you see that flashing cursor, you can just start typing, and it will change the title. Over here, there's Visual and Text. You want to make sure you're on visual most of the time. You only want to go to text if you have code that you need to enter in. Now with the cursor flashing here, you can just start typing. And that's exactly what's going to show up on the page. Now if you want to make this bold or italic, you can do that. Or to make it larger, choose paragraph and choose one of these sizes. If you want to change the color, there's this button here. Change it to red. Now if you want to add in a picture, you'll click the Add Media button. And wherever your cursor is, see I have my cursor at the end of test, that's where it's going to insert a picture. Your media library, this is pictures you've already uploaded. And Upload Files Select goes to your documents and lets you upload a picture from your computer. I'm just going to choose one that we've already uploaded for this example. Now over on the side, you've got an alignment option. You've got a link to. So if somebody clicks on the picture, where is it going to take them? Media file means it'll just take them to the picture itself. But if you want to go to custom URL and type in some other website, now if they click on this picture, it'll take them to google.com when they cl click on it. And size, here's where you can detail how big of a picture it is. I would start with full size and always shrink it. So once you've chosen all of our items, click insert into page, give it a second, and now the picture will show up. If the picture is too large, you can click on the picture itself and it will get these boxes around the corner. And then you can click and drag these to resize. And when you let it go, it becomes the size that you want. Now if I want, say, this picture to be above the temp picture, I can click and drag on this picture itself. And wherever I let go is where it's going to place that picture. Just like that. If you want to get rid of a picture, click on it so you've got these items and hit the X and that removes it. So what you should do is open up a new tab or a new window and go to your site. highlight and then copy some text then go back to your page and you can paste it in here now if you make a mistake you can always use control and Z to undo that Z like zebra then when the page says what you want it to say click the publish button That'll say page published, and you can go view the page. Or if you want to go back to all pages and start working on a different one, you can do that there.